Ash, the Frost Archer, a biography from League of Legends, read to you by Prestige Edition. Ash hails from the Northern Freljord, where brutal tribal raids and inter-clan warfare are as much a part of the landscape as the scream of the frozen winds and the unyielding cold of the tundra. The only child of Grena, the matriarchal chieftain of the tiny Avarosan tribe, Ash was Iceborn, a member of the warrior caste, gifted with an ancestral connection to the magic of her lands and the rare ability to wield the power of true ice. Everyone assumed that Ash would follow her mother as the tribe's next leader. However, this was never a glory Ash desired. The grim responsibility of her warlike lineage and extraordinary gifts instead left Ash feeling isolated, burdened, and alone. Her only respite was when Sejuani, an ice-born girl from a sister tribe, would stay with them for the summer hunts around the Ordenkal rocks. The girl's friendship defined their childhoods, but was cut short just as they reached their teens. Somehow, Grena had offended Sejuani's grandmother, and the friendship between their tribes ended suddenly. Soon after, with her youth fading, Ash's mother began her lifelong quest for the throne of Avarosa, a supposed hoard of treasures and magical items that she hoped would return her people to greatness. But Grena's belief in prophecies and legends led her to take risks, which often left her tribe enfeebled. Finally, during a dangerous and unnecessary raid in another tribe's lands, Grena was killed. Her sudden death left young Ash on the run while most of her tribe was wiped out. Alone, pursued, Ash followed her mother's last map to a deserted glacier where she found the supposed grave of Avarosa and her magical bow of true ice. Ash used the weapon to avenge her mother's death, then turned west. Whether it was out of duty or loneliness, Ash gained a reputation by protecting the many scattered hearthbound tribes she encountered. She spurned the custom of taking thralls, and instead chose to adopt these desperate people as full members of her new tribe. And her fame grew quickly. Soon, many began to believe that she did not just carry the weapon of Avarosa. Ash was the legend herself, reborn and destined to reunite the Freljord. But tall tales would not feed her followers, and their long march south left the tribe on the verge of starvation. So, Ash leveraged the myths surrounding her, using them to form alliances with the powerful and land-rich southern tribes promising to unite them into a nation capable of challenging neighboring kingdoms. These new alliances brought new dangers, and Ash quickly found herself at the center of a political feud. A war mother, as Freljordian tribal leaders are known, was expected to wed, and taking a husband from one of the major tribes would anger the others. Ash could take several husbands, but this would only bring the conflict to a boil within her own household, and the ensuing bloodshed would shatter the alliances she had fought to build. Her answer was an impoverished vagabond from a mountain clan that had been nearly wiped out, the warrior Trindemir. He was neither a spirit walker nor blessed with any elemental powers, but upon his arrival in Ash's new capital, Trindemir had thrown himself into every dueling ring he could find. He fought with abandon, desperate to prove the destitute survivors of his clan were worthy of adoption by one of the stronger tribes. But even for the Freljord, his brutal fighting style and extraordinary vitality were unsettling, and many suspected he was touched by dark magic. Ignoring this, 
Ash offered to adopt his people as her own if he became her first and only bloodsworn. Trindamir accepted reluctantly. Though a political marriage, the attraction they felt for each other was palpable, and slowly a true affection blossomed. Now, Ash stands at the head of the largest coalition of Freljordian tribes in many generations. Even so, the unity she would bring rests upon an uneasy peace threatened by internal intrigues, foreign powers, the growing violent horde of the Winter's Claw, and a supposed destiny that Ash must at least pretend to believe. Thanks for listening. All credit for these stories goes to Riot Games and League of Legends. Full details can be found in the video description. If you enjoyed this production, please hit like and subscribe. There's a lot more coming.